Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. In this one I'll be telling you guys how to get the Bugster or the Group Sex outfit in GTA 5. This is a really easy glitch. The requirements, all you need is another person to help you do this and you need to have the Big Con Casino Heist ready. So, that also means you need an arcade. So, that's really it guys. So make sure you guys join the Discord. We have around 950 members and there's a lot of stuff we you can do in it we have giveaways and you can we have currencies in it and stuff like that and it's just really cool and i definitely recommend you guys joining it that will be in the link of the description like always but anyways make sure you guys hit that subscribe button let's get to 4000 next and yeah so let's get straight into the glitch okay so the first thing you want to do you just want to go into your arcade and make sure you have the big con heist ready with all the setups done. So it has to be the big on heist. It cannot be aggressive or silent sneaky. And then after that you make sure you have all the preps done. So you're ready to start up the heist. And once you start up the heist. Just make sure you get your friend in here. It doesn't matter. You can just use a random person. If you don't have a friend. That's perfectly fine. And yeah. So when you're going through the prep board. You go on entry disguise. So if you want group sex, you're gonna switch it to group sex. If you want bugsters, you're gonna switch it to bugsters. Whatever outfit you want, you gotta switch it to. It doesn't really matter. I, I'm gonna do bugsters because I feel like the outfit's the coolest. And then, you just all of this other stuff doesn't matter. You won't even be doing this heist. That's why it's a lot easier than the noose outfit. Because you don't even need to do the heist. You just need to start doing the glitch stuff right when you load into the heist. So that is just really easy. And yeah, so you just wanna go ahead and start up the heist. And you can also choose any mask you want. Those are also rare to get. You can't buy them. Well, most of them. As you can see, the one I have on is... You cannot buy the one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so you're just going to go ahead and load into this heist. And once you're in, it's really simple from here. It's just the same stuff you always do when you try to get outfits and stuff like that. So once you are in... You just want to go ahead and you want to go onto your interaction menu and then you want to go on style. Then you want to go all the way down and you want to go on player mood. And you just got to scroll through this for around 15 seconds. It doesn't really matter, you just got to scroll through it through 15 seconds and yeah, so as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. And then you have to scroll through one more thing after this. So as you can see, you just got to wait around 10 more seconds. And yeah, make sure you guys join that Discord again and hit the subscribe button. And after that, after you do player mood, you want to go to illuminated clothing and scroll through that for 30 seconds. Yeah, so as you can see, so after I'm done scrolling through this, I'm going to be going on, I'm going to be idling out the game. I'll be telling you how to do that shortly. So... Yeah, so once you're scrolling through it, you want to press on the home button on your Xbox or PS4. You don't need to do this. You can just stand still and let go of your controller for 13 minutes. But if you want this to go quicker for only 2 minutes, all you have to do is just press the home button on your Xbox or PS4 controller. And then you should idle out in around 2 minutes. So my interaction map should disappear as you can see right here. But that is not me exiting out of it. That's me on the home. But my software does not show me on the home. Yeah, so as you can see, my film software doesn't do that. But as you can see, I'm on the Xbox Home right now. If this doesn't work for you, you just let go of the controller and stay in the game. You should idle out in around 13 minutes. But as you can see, yeah, I'm in Home right now. And I should idle out around now, as you can see. And I cut through it, actually, to make you... I don't want to make you guys wait, so I cut through it. But I was scrolling the whole time. So as you can see, I just idle out of the game. This is what it looks like. And you should get this alert right here. Saying I've been kicked out of GT Online for idling too long or something like that and then after that you just want to load into your session and you should have the outfit on so it doesn't matter where your spawn location is it doesn't that doesn't do anything but as you can see I spawn in with the Bugsters outfit on so you might spawn in with a duffel bag or a parachute if you have a parachute you just need to take the parachute off and save it as an outfit if you have a duffel bag you just need to blow yourself up or just kill yourself and then save it as an outfit you just need to get whatever you have all on your back off so as you can see I'm just turn taking off the parachute and going to save my outfits and then that's it guys yeah so that is this video really quick I'm coming out with a video soon on all the best glitches in GTA 5 in my opinion 
and that should be out next video or so but that is it so make sure you guys go ahead and join the discord hit that subscribe button and like button if you enjoy these glitch videos and stuff like that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace